what is up guys i'm filming this on my phone because i'm in the process of getting a new camera because my camera i don't know i feel like my camera has gone down in quality over the years and it just ain't it today i'm just gonna be doing like a little story time get ready with me i'm about to go pick up some vegan buffalo wings and mac and cheese and all that stuff that's my excuse to do my makeup and get out the house i'm not wearing any foundation today i'm really just about to do my eyes fix my eyebrows and call it a freaking day girl. so yeah let's talk about oh my god y'all i was held freaking captive in my own freaking home it was a mess i don't know how i forgot to tell you guys about this as you guys know i live in jurassic terrain aka florida i live out here with them them creatures okay i put way too much of this on my eye the wild karens the combative ken i'm there i'm here it's pretty much like a little australia in america for those of y'all that don't know or y'all not american or whatever um you're lucky i'm just minding my own freaking business right i'm working this is uh, this was my last semester of school not like my final but like the semester that just passed so i'm over here minding my business on the laptop just doing some last minute work and i keep hearing this buzzing noise and i can't put my finger on it like why are you buzzing i just assumed that it was out from outside because my bed is right by, right by a window and then out of freaking nowhere i look up like i look up and i just see this heavy big nasty wasp like arms dangling ass sagging just charging at me bro girl i thought i was dead double homicide now i know some of y'all are probably gonna be in the comments like i got stung by a wasp before and it didn't hurt good for you i got stung by a wasp i still have scars from it it hurt this mama's is charging at me no personal space no warning just y'all i sh you not i left my phone i left my laptop i left common sense I left everything freaking behind and I just bolted and I ran out the bedroom door and I slammed it behind me, bro. So I'm over here in shock because I don't do bugs. I don't do bugs. I don't care. I don't do them. Now I'm just sitting in the hallway all out of breath, huffing and puffing. Because like how my uh, upstairs is set up, it's like, uh, like a hallway. So I'm just sitting in the hallway thinking about like, like what the f am I going to do, bitch? I have been kicked out of the room. This mother done kicked me out of my own room. So I was like, okay, enough of being shocked. We need to get weapons. We need to kill, okay? Like, no, I'm pissed now. So I run downstairs and I go and I get the wasp spray because, you know, Florida tings. I run into the room. I'm not even gonna front with y'all. I'm scared. It took me a minute to muster up the courage to even like want to go into the room because I was like, bro, it might just lunge at me. I just bust the door open. Right? I just started spraying. Bitch, I didn't even care. I just started spraying. The wasp didn't get hit and it got pissed. It got so pissed, bro. And it lunged at me again. I just lost it. I screamed and I ran. Close slammed the door again and ran back into the office. And I just sat there like, you don't have a phone? You don't have anything to communicate to the outside world because my boyfriend was at work and usually he kills all the bugs and stuff in the house. So I'm over here freaking, freaking the hell out in the office, terrified. I was like, okay, we have to do a rescue mission. We have to get a phone. We can't go out like this. We need a phone. Like you can't be that guy in a scary movie. Yes, this is my idea of a scary movie. Y'all could call me drama doll. I don't play with bugs. Getting like objects in the office that I could throw to like distract it while I try to run and get I had gotten some books from my bookshelf, opened the door, and flung that shit as hard as I could. At his big, at, he was literally, it was literally like he was a shark. Like that's how he was maneuvering in the room. Like he would just circle like menacingly. Like, like oh, this mother wants to kill me for real. He was so angry that he was willing to risk his last little lives on me, bro. He was willing to risk it all to get my ass 
and I knew I had to act accordingly. These are my turmoils. I'm so blessed that these are my turmoils. I just have to remind myself that. I throw it and I run to the bed. I couldn't decide what, what I wanted to get first, the laptop or the phone. So I just grabbed the whole comforter and I yanked it off the bed and I just drug everything on the comforter outside of the room and slammed the door. But I did notice in me doing all that, I did not see the wasp i didn't see it so i was like what the hell where is it like what is it i didn't know then but i know now what happened but i'm gonna I'm peep out later what i phone finally turns on and i call him and he's on his break at work and i felt so bad calling him on his break with this bullshit. but i was so terrified i was like babe i am trapped oh sos sos now he's stressed at work I'm stressed in the house. But that's another thing, y'all. I had to secure the dog because I didn't want her to get bit and die. So she was downstairs while all this is happening, right? And this is all upstairs in my bedroom, obviously, like I said. So, Miss Mama, the wasp, I was like, you know what? I'm tired of this. I'm dying in this country ass. I went in there head on and I just kept spraying and spraying and spraying. Every once in a while, I would get her ass and I was just going tic tac toe, spraying. Tic Tac Toe spraying. I did this for about like two hours. I didn't want to overly spray the room. So I made sure that if I didn't have a clear shot, I wasn't going to spray. I already knew at this point I was going to have to do the floors. I was going to have to redo my comforter. I was going to have to wash my dog's bed that was in the room because the wasp was all over my dog's bed that was in, the, in our bedroom. I'm like doing this, doing this, waiting for my boyfriend to get home. I'm like going back to back. And then like maybe like 30 minutes before my boyfriend clocks out i notice like it's silent in the room like there's no buzzing no like i can't even express y'all how big this wasp was because the buzzing was so loud i'm over here in the office trying to google on the laptops uh how to kill wasps when you're what to do when a wasp is in your room and there were so many videos of people like you just gotta wait for them to get into the blinds and it was funny because i kept seeing that mother in the blinds and i would be like okay and i would spray it and it would get aggravated and come out and get try to get me there was a point where it was just dead silent and it wasn't in there and i was like oh my god like where did it go my boyfriend comes home and he's irritated because y'all and he immediately goes to the bedroom as he should like do that mr man so he goes in there and there's no wasp and he's irritated because he's like bro are you sure you didn't just hear something no it was the wasp you gotta believe me it was in here i was terrified i didn't have a phone like just telling him the whole experience right he's just like, like okay so going on with my day and then all of a sudden mind you i had to rip all the stuff off the bed like i told you i had to do all that shit watch all that shit so out of nowhere i just start hearing a buzz and i'm like oh no bitch perfect my man's here you're about to die and we both go upstairs together i will i shit you not the scene i saw the scene i saw bitch so we go together and we go into the room and we see right outside our window we have this huge window there's this big wasp nest and it's the one wasp that thick ass wasp just circling it and just angry and just beating on our freaking window to get in and i'm like are you freaking i don't know who it was but i'll just take the blame one of us left the um window like cracked and the window is cracked right where the wasp nest was so we think that this bitch had been going like in and out like as she pleases for how long i don't know but that's freaking ridiculous so we wait for her to get like bored with being over there and as soon as she left we just sprayed the hell out of her nest i'm sorry sis i know that was your house but you came into my house with that bullshit so fuck you and um your demon offspring like double homicide that was a hot ass two out of ten experience zero out of ten actually very tropical i don't know what i'm doing i i'm feeling very bold and very bold and brush i don't do makeup like i i don't know i've just been getting like this urge to be more girly out of nowhere <laughs> about to go pick up some vegan buffalo wings we're doing car lashes i still have to um put on lipstick and stuff but
this is this is her this is the final look because i guess i'm not doing my brows so fuck it but um moral of the story don't fuck with wasps don't don't fuck with wasps um check your home if you're watching this check your house right now check the front door and your windows for wasp nests and spray them up because it's not cute and it's scary um yeah <laughs>